All right, we're standing outside the pavilion. Um, actually, if you can see the pipes right here, this is actually where the bar is going to be. Um, and then the window is actually what you're going to be seeing going into the new kitchen space. So we're located inside the kitchen. Actually, this is going to be the front line of the kitchen. Uh, over onto your left is actually going to be uh, the cooler space, a cooler and a freezer and the ice machine. And then the large um, eight foot pizza oven will be located right here. And as you can see here, we have a window that's actually you're gonna be seeing, be able to see from the outside. All right, so we're still in the pavilion kitchen. Located right now, we're actually in the beer cooler. As you can see over here, we have the beer chases that's actually gonna be running to both bars, the pavilion bar and to the new uh, Pelican Pub. All right, so we're now in the uh, Pelican Pub. So if you look and pan over to the Pelican Pub, as you can see all these pipes, that's actually where the bar is gonna be. And then uh, this is all the space for that location. Uh, if you pan over to your right, you're gonna see this is the uh, main dining room space or the Vista dining room. And as you can see, uh, these are the structures are going to be where the openings are is we're going to be the nano doors and then the framings all put in pour, place where they're going to pour the concrete uh, very shortly. So we're in the pro shop now. Um, actually going to be uh, one of the offices located right here. And if you pan over to your right, you're going to see where uh, there are some pipes and that's actually going to be where uh, the restrooms are for um, if you're getting uh, water to the water station. And if you pan a little bit further, uh, the ladies restroom that will be off from the main uh, dining room space you'll be able to go there as well all right so now we're in the men's uh, restroom it's just off from the uh, lobby space and uh, there will also be some storage area that will they'll connect to the kitchen uh, the main kitchen space all right so we're in the main ki uh, kitchen as you can see uh, a lot of space here so there'll be a front line and a back line um, and then this extends over to a small pantry area as well. And if you pan over to the end, that's actually where all the uh, walk-in coolers are. There's three walk-in coolers. All right, so we're in the location of the employee dining room space. Uh, there'll be some offices as well for food and beverage and for the, for the chef. All right, we're in the location where the other restrooms are located, similar to where the waterside room used to be. And then we'll also have another uh, uh, private dining space or multi-purpose room uh, located over here. Eric Long. I just want to give you an update from our cart staging area. We're almost complete. I want to give you a, a, uh, a little ma map here that gives you the layout of the land here. Um, we are currently right here where the uh, starter booth is and I will walk the space for you to kind of show you uh, where we are um, along the whole path here. All right, let's move on. As you can see over here, <coughs> this is actually uh, soldier course to kind of give you a visual of where carts will be able to go. Eventually there will be a roundabout that will take you up to the new clubhouse, but I'll take you to the front entrance now. So we're here now. This is actually where cars can actually pull up uh, like they used to do. Now we do no longer have a curb anymore. So this soldier course defines where the carts go and then you have the definition right now of where you have the walking path. Uh, eventually we'll have a space here for uh, the, the uh, backdrop guys to be able to have a lo little location here. Um, over to the right is actually where they're going to be washing the golf carts um, and that's actually going to be landscape uh, further down the project. Right now there won't be any landscaping done uh, until uh, later in the project when we actually have uh, irrigation that we can tap into uh, in the golf club. The area it's a it's a large space that now we can do uh, staging of the golf carts we can fit over 80 85 golf carts in this area here so we've got a good amount of space for our cart staging area and I just want to give you an idea uh, this is actually we're stopping right now uh, this part of the paver area and eventually towards the later part of the project we'll pick up 
And this paver area actually extends all the way to the back side of the clubhouse. So this is just temporary right now, um, just to get this open for, for season. Okay, we are in the location of where cart traffic will go. If you can see here, we have a soldier course on either side to, get to differentiate where you're supposed to go with the golf cart. So if you look here, we have a good amount of space. Um, we are transitioning our sod right now, so that's being installed today. We're going to give it a few days before we open this space up, but uh, it's a nice smooth transition. So obviously, we want the golf carts to stop here and not go into the grass. And then we have uh, golf cart parking, similar to what we used to have, but now it's kind of more differentiated in all these areas. So in between all the, uh, the Royal Palms, you can park a good uh, 40, 50 carts all the way along the path now. So thank you very much. As you can see here, we're actually laying the clay here for the eight uh, tennis courts. All right, they're actually putting up the uh, tennis lights right now. As you can see, these are uh, NLS LED lights. And you can see we've got the boom lift here. And right above, they'll be putting on the lights onto the courts. As you can see, the shaded structures are in place, the pads in place. Uh, there'll be a little water cooler being uh, installed shortly and the canvas on top will be installed uh, within the next two weeks. We're at the Racket Center. Let me take you inside. All right, we're here at the Racket Center. Let me give you the uh, floor plan so you can kind of see what we got going on here. Right now we're in the multi-purpose room. We have a storage closet, maintenance facility, uh, fitting room, offices, pro shop, and then we have the ladies and uh, men's restroom and our kitchenette concession area. So I'll walk you through the space. Okay, so right now we're in the multi-purpose room. All these can see a lot of things going on, HVAC, electrical and plumbing. Here's our storage closet. Our maintenance room right here. Uh, Frenchie's office. This is the fitting room. We're in the uh, pro shop space. Right now we're in the uh, kitchenette. In the ladies and, and men's restroom. All right, right now we're on the patio space. This actually is get the concrete's actually going to be poured very soon for this space. Eventually, pavers will be going in place after that. This is the, the shaded sail area. All right, we have the beams uh, going in installed today. That's our roof, and then our roof structure will uh, be continued after that. Uh, they'll actually start grading this, this location, and pavers will be going in next week. All right, so we have the uh, pickleball courts over here. The fences are put in place, asphalt's down. We'll actually be painting the uh, courts. We have more progress from the weekend. I gave you the update on Friday. So you can see right now, we got the uh, clay courts uh, being installed now. All the tennis lights are in and uh, they'll be finishing up these last courts in the next couple days. As you can see down, down there, we have the fence poles going in, so they'll take about a week to uh, install. And from Friday, as, as you can see here, over the weekend, this was poured. Uh, eventually, we'll have the pavers going in next week. All right, in the last two days, we've got some of the support beams going in. As well as a handicap ramp. Well, the windows have been installed over the weekend. Take a look.